We are in New York City, where Ultron is wrecking havoc with his army of robots. With the doomsday devices he's placed around the city, he plans to bring forth the apocalypse and usher in his new Age of Metal. Luckily, Earth's mightiest heroes are on the scene. Can the Avengers save the city and the world in time? This is a Marvel Crisis Protocol scenario where you guys are teaming up together cooperatively to defeat me, the evil Ultron. Ultron has planted four doomsday devices all over New York City. Legions of his Ultron bots are attacking from the sky. Civilians are running around in panic. It's only a matter of time before he destroys the city and the world. Ooh. Who will save us, Ben? <laughs> Who will save us? That's your job. That's oh. our job. <laughs> Me. You guys have to work together to stop the robots, save the civilians, and stop the doomsday device. Yeah, yeah so we're each controlling four heroes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mark? I am, well, I'm leading up Team Captain America. Uh, so I've got old Steve Rogers, Captain America himself. He's my number one guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I have got Hulk. I've got the Hulk, uh, Bruce Banner. We have as a well. Hulk. We have a Hulk, yep, absolutely. And then I've got Bow Guy and Russian Spy. Um, <laughs> they the two have names. greatest heroes. <laughs> no, I've also got Hawkeye and Black <laughs> Widow as well. I've got four badass heroes as well. I've got Thor. Mm. Uh, of course, we've also got <laughs> Iron Man. Yep. Another ordinary man. So, you know, you'd think he oh, would have no true. special He's superpowers. He's not even good at archery. No, but he does have <laughs> lots and lots of money and a special robot suit. <laughs> the best superpower <laughs> of all. The best superpower of all. Um, but also got Vision. Oh, very cool. And he's a powerful hero actually in this game. So yeah. I'm excited to see him in action. And Quicksilver, who yeah. is very useful to run around and pick up points. And yeah. Yeah. He's great at saving civilians, hopefully. Yeah, which we're going to need to do a lot of. Mm. Yes. You're fighting an AI version of Ultron who's super powered, much more powerful than the normal version of the game because he's the only thing you're up against. Mm. Ultron and his bots come in at 30 points and you guys have 15 points each. Now, there's lots of ways to win or lose this game. There's four doomsday devices, and if at any point Ultron controls all four, the city is immediately destroyed. But there's also civilians running around that you've got to try and save. If Ultron kills a civilian, he gets a victory point. If you guys save a civilian and take them to the evacuation point, you guys get a victory point. There's also points awarded for controlling the nodes at the end of each turn. First person to get to 12 victory points wins the game. There's also points if he takes out the heroes. Yes, if Ultron can kill a hero, it's just as good as killing a civilian. It's another point for him. Yeah, interesting stuff. So I got to go first. Mm -hmm. We had a look in the comic book store. There's bound to be a nerd in there. There's got to be a nerd in there, isn't there? Do you think that's where the Stan Lee cameo is? <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> he's like in there like with headphones <laughs> on. He doesn't know that the world's being destroyed. He's like, I love this new Taylor Swift album! Oh, Excelsior! <laughs> so we, we pull Stan Lee out there, start moving him towards the chopper. We need more comics! <laughs> <laughs> but how who's going to write the rest of this adventure? <laughs> we need you to write the ending. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Thor had a look in this bin. Yeah. Uh, see if he could find someone, but he couldn't. No cowering humans in the dustbin. No. Yeah, so we're gathering up some civilians from the area and we're trying to herd them to the exit point. To the exit, to the exit point. point. Yeah. Yeah. So there's like a shield heli carrier hovering above the battlefield trying to fight the armies of robots that are flying in. Yeah. And if you get to this point in the middle, they get to like zip line up. Save the civilians. Mm -hmm. So I had Black Widow run in, grab one of these nodes, secure those objectives, because if Ultron controls are full, we're going to lose. So mm -hmm. try and lock those down, jump over, open up the bin. We need a... Cool, oh, there you go, oh, you there got There we it. go. What does she find? She finds a New York worker inside, <laughs> pulls them out. Hey, I'm a cow in here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, oh, please, <laughs> I just jumped in here. Um, but yeah, so she jumps over, pulls her out and secures her as well. Okay then, three guys have gone, so it's my turn. Now it's not really my turn. Who's okay. controlling Ultron? It's a very dangerous combination of me and a flowchart. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god! I you, it's <laughs> double-sided! <laughs> a laminated flowchart and Ben's brain. My god. A cyborg. Yeah. Half man, half flowchart. <laughs> Just oh, imagine cap like bastard. My god, it's laminated. <laughs> oh my god. Now whenever Ultron activates, he rolls some dice on a special doomsday table to show the random events of the battlefield. His legions of robots can attack people, he can bombard the center of the board, he can get extra energy to power his attacks, he can destroy buildings, he can make you drop the civilians you're trying to rescue. Who knows? It's chaotic war zone. Yeah. 
So he rolls on his random chart and he gets to destroy a building that's been evacuated. The comic book shop explodes. One of the customers crawls out of the wreckage. That's right. Oh, hey guys, I was just buying my comics. Uh. How did we not see you the first time? <laughs> oh, I was in the back reading my comics. Uh. Vision just did a real cursory glance. He's just <laughs> There Stanley. were actually like five guys in there. <laughs> no, they're all dead. Ultron knows what he's got to do. He's got to hunt down those civilians. So we roll that dice and I generated some extra power for him which let him use his matter transference ability to teleport forwards and attack Thor on the first turn. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm glad I put Thor out there to tank it. Yeah. He's probably the best person on my team to actually take damage. Four dice to try and resist it. Oh, let's resist his attack. You got one. So you take uh, four damage. And that's half of his health. Mm. Thor only has seven. When a hero gets runs out of health, they mm. do get knocked down mm -hmm. and then they they flip their card to their injured side. Yeah. Uh, sometimes that makes them a little bit stronger. Sometimes they have like extra hit points or they make extra abilities when mm. they get flipped to their injured side. Some characters get worse when they're injured. Yeah. But if they get knocked down a second time, they're out. And that's mm. a victory point for Ben. I knew that there were two <laughs> more hits going to possibly be coming in from Ultron. Yeah. And right. I was thinking, what on earth is going to happen to Thor? His yeah. robots weren't quite as aggressive and uh, the robots flew forward to try and harass your objective grabbers. Harassing some of our smaller fry who are running around collecting mm. civilians and flipping objectives quite worrying for my side of the table because outside of a Hulk my guys are pretty squishy and pretty vulnerable to that kind of attack so those bots actually kind of present a bit of a threat so something I might have to deal with so yeah with that in mind I actually had Hawkeye activate next he moves up and being a long-range fighter I thought great he's the perfect guy to maybe clear out these bots he's you know in a great position to maybe get some early hits in but I just don't quite do enough damage to take them out I only do two damage instead of three damage Close. leaving one of these bots remaining to harass the team and I had a real worry that that was going to come back and bite us in the ass later on. I felt it was time to move Quicksilver. He gets to move extra fast and extra far. Let's grab up this coffee Spill boy before he gets killed. Zoop. And then I think we're going to try and zoop over to the um, extraction. The extraction as well, yeah. And then I had Hulk go next. It was time for Hulk smash. And Hulk uses his gamma leap. He flies across the battlefield. He charges in and gets a solid wallop on Ultron, doing, I think, four points yeah. of damage. Half his first health bar down yeah. and one Hulk hit. Really big hit. And Hulk, being the Hulk, only gets stronger the more damage he takes and the more times I can power him up with more and more energy. You want to get him in early. He's real, real strong. Yeah. And unlike other characters, the Hulk has 20 hit points, but he doesn't have an injured profile. Mm. So I need to make sure that in that 20 hit points, he gets as much damage in as he possibly can. One of the things I like most about this game is how authentic that feels. Like, yeah. Hulk just runs at them. Yeah. <laughs> and just clobbers them and he's throwing cars and smashing and it feels like what the Hulk should be doing. So whenever heroes or characters take damage, it generates extra power for their abilities. Ultron's just got hit real hard by Hulk. It's yes. charged him up and he's ready to do one of his more powerful attacks, the mm -hmm. Rage of Ultron, where he just lashes out in all directions with laser beams and claws and he hits both Hulk and Thor. Got one, so you take six, which is absolutely KO'd Thor in two oh. hits. That means he can't be damaged again next turn, but he can't act anymore yeah, this turn either. He'd already had his go, yeah. so I wasn't too worried about that. But I was worried because, you know, one of my main guys <laughs> yeah, it's half already dead. injured. If, if he gets injured that badly again, he's out of the game. Yeah. That's really bad for us. And it's not even the end of turn one yet. I did get some damage on the Hulk, which is great for the Hulk because he does more damage the more you hurt him. So yeah. now I get to add an extra die of damage to every attack I make from this Yeah, point I onwards. mean, if, I have to admit, at this point, if I was in complete control of Ultron, um, I would be avoiding the Hulk as much yeah. as possible. I wouldn't be charging him up and I wouldn't be standing near him. <laughs> <laughs> but Ultron needed to grab that objective and he wanted to hit as many targets in range as he could. Yeah. So the last two for us to activate were our team leaders. It was Cap and Tony mm. and you had a special card for them to pull off like a little synchro dynamo. You're move. right. So we each start with three special cards. Mm -hmm. um, these are one time per game abilities. I've got one which I can call on the Stark Armory. If I can get a lot of power on Tony, he can give everyone cool gadgets mm -hmm. and they can all use stuff out of Stark Industries, nice. which is really cool. He's got a Helios laser up in orbit that he can cool down once per game, which That's involves cool. everyone charging up and spending their power together. So you can't, you can't really use that until a bit later. Mm -hmm. But then also, we got a ricochet blast. Now, yeah, this was cool. because Tony Stark was at the back, everyone was quite clumped together and the Hulk was blocking my view. I needed to ricochet. <laughs> 
my hand beams. And of course, who is the perfect target for Who is the Ricochet perfect target for that? It's just like the movies. So I had Captain America leap in, hopefully with the idea that he might be able to protect some of the other members like mm. Vision and, and, and Black Widow as well, but perfectly lined up for you to do this cool vibranium shield reflection laser bass move straight yeah. into Ultron. Blammo, the finisher! Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> He Very was dead. Good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, uh, oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, then... oh, oh. <laughs> Ultron's kind of complicated. He has eight health, and if you kill him, he downloads his consciousness into another robot and comes back. But every time he does that, it like corrupts his firmware and depletes his consciousness. So if you defeat him five times, that sixth time, he can't download his brain. Right, okay. And you can kill him for real, Zeke. So okay. he's got six health bars. Yes. <laughs> oh God, it's like a, a Dark Souls <laughs> boss gone mad, isn't it? It's like multiple <laughs> second stages. Oh, God. That's right, he downloads into another bot that's flying overhead, and he just drifts back down. He's decided to stay away from Hulk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that that yeah. kind of hurt. Yeah. So Makes he's sense. respawning over here now. So Ultron respawns and he gets his last activation of the turn. Ultron is hungry for civilians. Mm. He's here to terrorize and murder and generally be a horrible supervillain. So he sees Vision escorting Stan Lee out of the comic shop. No, the most villainous <laughs> action he could possibly do. He's gonna kill his creator. Oh, it's a nightmare. So he chucks everything he's got at Vision. <laughs> He's dead. He's dead. Ultron's taken Vision down. He spikes some big damage. Vision's knocked out. He'll have to come back next round. And this Stan Lee, who he's escorting, is now just stuck in the open. And the robots are going to shoot Stan no! Lee. No! Stan, no! <laughs> you can't shoot Stan Lee. He's a treasure. <laughs> Sorry, that's what they do. Oh. You've left him there, right in front of the flipping robots. Vision, <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> Take this, Stan. A single hit will kill him. All blanks. Oh, no. <laughs> Stanley shot through the head by oh, robots. Cap, why don't you have any energy? You could have saved him. Well, that's a victory point to Ultron. He gets to kill the civilian. Yeah. Quicksilver can drop off his civilian. He gets evacuated. Beamed up to the heli carrier. He was sad, Stan, he was so close. He was so <laughs> close at the last minute. But like the ropes are down, the evac team's coming down. He's running towards Vision it. Vision is like lifting him yeah, up. Like, uh, and then pew, 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 pew. <laughs> boom, oh, oh, Excelsior. <laughs> and just collapses. Oh, he was so close. Poor Stan. Oh, so you guys get a victory point for evacuating the civilian. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you're on three points. Okay. And Ultron gets two nodes mm -hmm. and a killed civilian. So he's also on three points. Yeah. Hey guys, can you help me build a better Lorcana deck, please? Oh, arr, Squiddy Jim, you come to the right place. Let me tell you the tale of the greatest game of Lorcana that there ever was. So there I be, close to winning the game with my injured Cheshire cat. He's evasive, so he can't be attacked by most characters. I think I'm safe until they play Cruella de Vil. She's out to turn my cat into her new handbag. Oh, but I'm ready for this. And so I buff his defense and my cat gets to eat four dozen eggs. So he's roughly the size of a barn. Then suddenly I'm betrayed by the treacherous Jafar. All is not lost though. And I use the healing powers of Snow White to bring my cat out of danger. Oh, but they have one more trick up their sleeve as Jafar shifts into his more powerful giant snake form. This is powerful enough to challenge my cat and the two banish each other from the game dashing my hopes of victory. Or oh, so they thought, my fine squiddy friend, for I had prepared for even this outcome. I shift Snow White into a more powerful form, and she can make wishes come true. And she brings my Cheshire Cat back to life, and I win the game shortly after. Oh, um, did you just want to brag about your latest game? Oh, oh no! Oh no! They, uh, there's a uh, there's a lesson in there for you. You have to work it out. It's a test. Always have a response to your opponent's cards. B 
I sure. Why not? Oh, I just can't wait to play with the new set. Into the Inklands. Oh, I want to try out Moanar. And Perditar. And then the new Jafar. Hang on. Are you just building your deck with cards that end in... Arr. Yar. Yar. Arr. So turn two, mm. we started to learn what Ultron's abilities were. Yeah. He's got this attack that bombards the middle, so we immediately thought, let's get out of there. I used Vision mm -hmm. to use my Synthsoid Avenger. He got back on his feet. <laughs> Flies in. Big flying punch. Big <laughs> flying fist, straight into Ultron. So five against one save. So Ultron takes four, four damage points of damage. Punch. So it's as big as That's the Hulk's hit. He's only got eight health, so it's half his health down in one hit. Which is perfect. And I backed Vision back off yeah. um, into the middle of the group mm. so we could get more protection. I ran Quicksilver over to the Burger Shack, used him to search around for a civilian in there. Yes, you got one. So I had Captain America, you know, not wanting to let any more civilians die on his watch. He <laughs> moves back in into a protective position so he can protect uh, Black Widow, the civilian, and Hawkeye all at the same time. But I did have a spare action left. So what I did is I used his shield throw ability mm. to throw his shield at Ultron. Ping, ping off it would do nothing. Ping, ping, ping. Yeah. So he's just like... Whoa. Takes nothing. But that was Cap's plan all along because he actually had his ricochet wild card ability yeah. which allowed the shield to hit the Ultron box next to him, dealt one point of damage, <laughs> just enough to finish them off and decapitate those Ultron nice. bots and remove that threat from the game. But However, on Ultron's turn, he just summoned the bots back immediately. <laughs> well, yeah, he rolled on his chart of random yeah. events. He had to spend energy to do it. But he got the right dice result, he spent his energy, and he brought on new bots. Right next to Quicksilver, who <laughs> already yeah, activated, you know. <laughs> and a fresh civilian. Well... Yikes! Yeah, not ideal, Out not the ideal. frying pan into a different fire, fire. <laughs> yeah. So not only did the dice roll spawn some new bots, it also caused all the civilians you were carrying to struggle free and run off in panic during the chaos of the battle. Where are you going? Please no, stay. So Ultron's mad, he can smell blood, he sees civilians out in the open, he's gonna go in and attack them. But who's there to block him? It's his time. You know, he's let everybody down. This is the time for Cap to show who he is. And I'm going to use his bodyguard ability to jump in the way and take that hit. Uh, that's oh. crit, but nothing else. My god. Do you get another dice roll though? And a shield. Two. So, okay, two. so I block two. So I take two damage yes. and I gain two power. After all of that, I had Hawkeye, Clint go. Uh, he uses his like grapple arrow, uh, connects to this garbage truck. He flies along the street. He <laughs> grabs the objective and then Smooth. he turns around, loads up an electric arrow in his bow. Go, go, bow guy. Hit, hit, swirl. Takes two points of damage. Hey, I'll take it. But more importantly, he also triggers a shock effect mm. uh, on Ultron, yeah. which means that he does one less die of damage. Mm. And I hadn't activated Iron Man yet. And I thought, Iron Man's pretty good. So... Maybe Iron Man can finish him off. Oh. So, miss, 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 miss. Completely fluffs it. <laughs> Real bad dice. <laughs> Fires another one. Straight shot. Oh, oh, no, only one. Okay, completely <laughs> fluffs it. Which meant that Thor had to take over himself. But he's really far away. Because Thor is the strongest Avenger, mm -hmm. famously, <laughs> self-proclaimed, <laughs> uh, he just showed how strong he was. He picked up this lovely red car <laughs> yeah. and lobbed it straight at Ultron. Blam. That's a lot of skulls! Oh! He blocks none of it! He <laughs> sideswiped by He's so busy fighting Cap, yeah. and out of nowhere a car just, just bam! Around the back of the head. So he got crushed under that car and had to get a new clone, get a new replacement yeah. robot body. Meanwhile, I ran through over to sort of assist with the bots mm -hmm. and just keep him in the middle. And um, yeah, that was, that was my go. I like these human vehicles, <laughs> these mortal vehicles. Mm. Excellent weapons. <laughs> Now Ultron starts off with a few different attacks, but as he takes more damage, his precision laser blasts get weaker, but his AOE rage attack gets stronger. He sees an unescorted civilian down by the bins, so he floats in and he does a huge AOE with an enhanced damage boost, which is gonna hit Cap, the civilian, and Black Widow. But this time I properly remembered my energy and now it's time for Captain America to do what Captain America does. So he got to use his bodyguard ability for just one energy, which actually left me enough energy to also use his vibranium shield, nice. which allows him to add more dice to his defense. But that's not enough to save you here. Not only are you getting hit by Ultron's full wrath, 
you're gonna get hit by it twice because you're taking the hit for the civilian it's on what you. captain america would do <laughs> i was like this is probably the worst decision but it's what cat would do so he throws himself on the civilian pulling up his shield boom now the thing is he's done the folly of man that means his blanks count as hits yeah but, but he's rolled four skulls and he's rolled two shields yeah so this is as weak. bad as this attack can possibly get Bum 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 What do you know, cat box <laughs> almost every single one. Well, almost. Almost. Not enough. not enough. First attack doesn't knock you yeah. out. You've got a one hit point left. That's right. So when you jump in front of the civilian, you absorb that too. <laughs> Takes me out, but I'm just injured. So I That's go to right. my flipped injured side. So cat did his job. Cap took double damage to get knocked out and save the civilian. While Black Widow's <laughs> still your health left before she's knocked out. Oh, Ultron was so close. It was a risky maneuver, but you know what? It paid off. He saved them and he now has a new ability called I can do this all day. <laughs> yeah. When defending against the tank, he adds blanks to his defense rolls Ooh. now. So he's even tankier now. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> right, well, you've saved the best for last. So it's my turn. Black Widow grabs the civilian that Captain America had saved and she runs around to the evacuation point mm -hmm. um, and is hopefully going to score some nice victory points for that. Nice and simple. Objective exactly, secure. Exactly. Exactly what Black Widow should be doing. Mm -hmm. Grabbing that and doing that. And then it's time. It's Hulk smash oh, time again. It's Hulk time. It's Hulk time. Now he's pretty far away. He's got to leap over and run. Yes. Yeah, so he I, smashes through a toilet on his way smashes through. Smashes through a toilet <laughs> on his way through. He manages to get in range and I've built up enough energy on him to use his Hulk smash. Yeah, it's extra strong attack. Oh my god, Ultron blocks three of it, so it only takes two only damage. Takes two points of damage. You didn't even get your critical effects where you could pick him up and throw him. I got nothing. It was just <laughs> such a whiff of a turn. Right, Ultron's final activation. Oh yeah. Let's see what he does. Let's see what, what he does. What does the flowchart say? Flowchart says, remove all unescorted civilians. They are killed by flying robots. No! Oh, so no. it's only Quicksilver's, Quicksilver's guy. Then he's going to usher in his better age. The oh. age of metal. He is going to destroy the biggest, the building biggest thing on the board that has had a civilian <gasps> oh, rescued from no. it. The burger joint's getting blasted. Stanks burgers! Oh, so many stanks. <laughs> oh, but a civilian came busting out. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Lost Get a him. civilian, gained, gained a civilian, civilian in roughly the same place. Yeah. But Ultron got a victory point for killing that civilian. Oh, um, bum. But we've got a lot of objectives locked down, so... Yeah, well, he's going to have to do something about that, that's for sure. So he's going to move over to where Hawkeye is. He thinks there's a puny, weak Avenger. I can finish him off, claim that objective away. Yep. He only manages to do two wounds. But Ultron can't be doing big, powerful AoEs every turn. He's got to build up his power just like you guys do. Yep. So that built up a little bit more energy for him and got him a victory point. And then his bots move up and attack Quicksilver, who's trying to evacuate the burger joint. They only do one wound. The bots don't hit very hard. Definitely better that they're attacking heroes one than these, you know, running around civilians who are just going to go down in a single mm -hmm. hit. So much better that they, they made that attack on Quicksilver in the first place. That takes us to the end of turn two. Victory points time. Two points aside for the core objectives. The core objectives. So two for Ultron, two for Avengers. Oh, one behind. Then Black but... Widow can evacuate Bin Lady. Ah, Bin Lady! <laughs> She's safe. <laughs> Which puts you on six each. Oh, oh my oh, goodness okay. me. Neck and neck. So, start of the turn, we had to make a decision. Let's see how much damage we can get in and can we kind of begin to turn this around. i have been saving one of my special cards, so I had three cool cards, um, and one of them is Smash. Uh, <laughs> and I had been waiting the whole time because I saw this little garbage truck. Not little. Uh, it's not little at all, and that was the point. I had Hulk move over, Ultron's in the prime Ooh, position, he yeah. leaps over, he picks this garbage truck up using Smash, and that means he gets to add four attack dice to any attacks he makes for the rest of his activation. Yeah, that's powerful. Hulk smash! So he takes six damage, oh! which completely KOs him. Boom, smash, he's done. But that wasn't all. No. Be because Hulk had started so close to Ultron, he still had a second action. Yeah, yeah so Ultron's respawning, and I'm like, okay, well, Ultron doesn't want to get hit again by the Hulk, so he respawns as far away from Hulk as he can get. Yep. Um, outside of his melee range. Yeah, outside of his melee range, but... And ben was thinking, I'm sat pretty here. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> sat pretty. Yeah. Oh, think you got me, do you, Hulk? Oh, but the Hulk isn't a one-trick pony, because... <laughs> He has a, a beam attack called Thunderclap, which means he claps his hands and it's a concussive wave yeah. of force. And it's slightly longer than melee range. And it's, <laughs> it's just one better than his melee range, and it just how it just clips Ultron. He makes one, so he's taking seven damage! Oh, seven smash! damage! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> wow. Boom! Um, he's only got one left. Absolute B. 
beating from yeah, the hole. Yeah, which is what we needed at this <laughs> It point. really was. It was yeah. like, okay, we can. there's now a solution like, in mind. <laughs> we got a chance here. Yeah. Uh, but that was it. Hulk was done at this point, yeah. so he was going to take another Avenger to try and yeah. mop up this second Ultron So this uh, Ultron body. new body, it's almost already destroyed. It's nearly dead. You can finish him off with a small hit here. Tony Stark was nearby. He mm -hmm. was within range of Ultron's new spawn. So I was just like, I missed with the first one. I'll take the second one. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew, pew. And he rolls one. Oh. So two get through. Tony. He did it, Tony. Hulk and Tony, bang. Blammo. That's two it. Two more to go. Two more to go. We knew that we had a bit of time. So I had Black Widow uh, jump across, grab another objective, just kind of giving us a bit of board control. Every time Ultron activates, there's a chance that there's going to be a bombardment on the center. So getting Black, she has only got one hit point left. If she doesn't get out of the center, there's a risk she'll just instantly get Exactly. KO'd. Had to get her out of there, make mm. sure she was safe, and also grabbing an objective isn't going to hurt as well. Mm. And it was the right call because Ultron did actually do <laughs> that bombardment. Yeah, that bomb as soon as she cleared the down. fire zone. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, just perfect timing. Oh, but she didn't even look back. You no. don't look at explosions. Don't look at explosions. <laughs> Way too cool. Yeah. Okay, so Ultron activates, and we didn't mention it, but Iron Man spent his spare energy to rummage through the bushes to look for random civilians. These blooming bushes. I can't <laughs> believe so many people are in these bushes. <laughs> I shouldn't be looking for them. <laughs> no, just leave them in there. Because all it did was summon Ultron over to yeah. blow more stuff up. Yeah, this was like bad. Like, this is going to be another big AOE here. Yeah, yeah, so the Ultron can't help it. He's like, there's civilians. I'm going to go get me some victory points. Yeah. So he uses all his abilities. He teleports over. He uses the folly of man to turn Turbocharges attack, he does a big AoE explosion. This was very, very frightening, actually. <laughs> this was terrifying, but the first Avenger, once again, <laughs> doing his duty. Captain, using his bodyguard ability, dives in front of this yeah. civilian. Because yeah, I can do this all day. Oh, wow. Wow, it's all blocks. It's six blocks plus double crit. He doesn't need more. Seven dun, 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 dun. Cap doesn't die from his own hit, but it's down to two wounds on his Goes second to hit. Two wounds. He's only got two wounds left, but he lives, and that civilian lives. So he survives on a single wound. Yeah. <laughs> because he is the invincible Iron Man, and Ultron has used all of his energy to heavily wound everyone, Perfect. but kill nothing. This is the two oh, team man. leaders at their finest. <laughs> Taking on Ultron together and defend civilians. This is this is the moment. This is the epic, this is the, the trailer moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I blame the flowchart. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, with the heroic activities, uh, Captain America actually got pushed back by that attack. He got knocked back. Yeah. But he can do this all day. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Captain America runs back in, gets himself in position to protect that civilian again if he has to. Yeah. But he does also manage to get throw a punch Ultron's way. Mm -hmm. Doesn't do any damage, but does get to push him away and conveniently pushes him just in range for a certain god of thunder. Thor picked up another car. He loves, <laughs> he doing loves that. those cars. <laughs> oh god, okay, so that's four damage I've got to block. I block one. That's three damage. Yes! He should just wield cars. <laughs> yeah. Leave yeah. the hammer alone. He who shall ever hold this car <laughs> shall have the power of Thor. Quicksilver ran in with the next civilian. And you did some great positioning as well, making sure that Quicksilver wasn't too close to like Tony and Cap for another AOE, making sure that he was positioned just enough that Ultron's gonna have to make some really tough decisions on who he goes to fight. So now it's really important to find out what Ultron's Doomsday Dice are gonna do, because this could be massive. Yeah. He's, he's low on energy, right? And you've got civilians everywhere. So what he rolls is gonna determine Ultron's strategy. See what the chart does. I destroy a building. Oh, blimey. And get loads of extra power. He has to destroy a building that you have evacuated. Mm. The flower bed. The <laughs> Oh my He's god. He's gonna destroy the if flower you, bed! If you hadn't got someone out of the flower bed, you wouldn't have done any and I could pick which building I wanted. No, but because we got the flower bed! <laughs> I can't believe it! I, was, I wanted to knock the crane over! Oh! I did spawn another civilian over there. He did. Which makes that a target-rich environment. There's two civilians and three heroes. Cap's only got two health left. So even though vision hasn't been yet, I go for Cap. So I go, I charge in. To be fair, and then Captain America has vexed Ultron <laughs> quite a few times. I imagine that the robot is like, oh, I want to finish this stupid man. I had enough of this. <laughs> so he's spending all his power and he's only yeah. rolling eight dice with no, no blanks. Blanks are successes. So Cap completely survives the hit that would have hit him. Yep. Diving on the civilian for a second time. That means he gets to protect the civilian for the second attack. And that doesn't even kill him. No. Another five blocks. Just die. <laughs> die, you stupid man. 
<laughs> Not on America's <laughs> time, Ultron! The unguarded civilian that's just crawled out of the flower pot? Yeah. It's just obliterated. Tony's, Tony's like, <laughs> Tony's like, I'm gonna let this guy die. <laughs> Tony's like, what? One VP for Ultron. And then finally, Tony Stark, he's gonna go one hit. He's not surviving this blast. He goes down as well. Iron Man is injured, his suit's all busted. He can come back up next turn, but he's close to death. So despite all of this AOE damage and chaos going on, we're still in a position to get six victory points. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I looked at this and I thought, I've got vision and I could just attack um, Ultron, but that would give him energy. And, and he's got one last activation to make this turn. And I knew that I had the Helios laser. This is it. Banked. Mm -hmm. And Vision has an ability to not attack. I can just instead gain power. The Helios laser lets you turn power into a, into dice. I could have mm. got, you know, eight dice of attacks into him right now, or four dice later, and I just thought, we might win now. No, I will not attack this turn. Like, I love just... that it was Vision who made that decision. Yeah. He was just like, I've determined that violence is the, not the appropriate course. <laughs> just <laughs> hovering there like, hmm. <laughs> Tony, he I... seems to feed off our attacks. Yeah, and so for the very last one, it wasn't particularly exciting, but old archer guy with his grapple <laughs> arrow, Spider-Man swings in, he grabs a civilian and then runs him in for that last Yeah, the, so that's the, last the one we needed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. That's, that's the one we needed. So, so that's when we poised. had the six, yeah. six potential VPs. You've got it all on lockdown. Locations are locked down, civilians are ready to be back. Ultron could lose the game here. The flowchart didn't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> This is where the, the Ben AI <laughs> took over. I was like, I, I'm not going to let you guys win this so easily. <laughs> I threw the flowchart away and I, I was like, hang on, actually, how can Ultron not lose the game here? <laughs> Assuming direct control. Exactly, the AI has evolved, it's become self-aware now. <laughs> so, first of all, I get the blank. I flip an objective over of my choice if I have none. And I got the explosion, which means you drop all your civilians. No, bam. All these guys you're about to evac are just running off in panic as all the robots attack. So suddenly, from us getting six, we're now only getting three. three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so our victory, and, and, and now, and then there's a potential here that if he kills all of his civilians, Ultron's going to only be a couple of victory points away from winning. This mm. is a real turning point in the game for us. This is big. Ultron takes advantage of this. He's going to attack Hawkeye's civilian. <gasps> no. With his metallic claws. Oh, he's ripped him to shreds. It's brutal. Oh. He gets him a victory point, and then his bots activate, they fly in, they smack another civilian too. So it's not a very exciting turn for Ultron, oh. but it's steady points. He's now on 10 points, two away from winning the game. Oh, you guys are now on nine. And after all that work we did to get those civilians there, and at the last minute they get scared away just as we're about yeah. to evac that them. That was oh. really unlucky. It was so frustrating. Yeah. We had like victory within our grasp, and then suddenly a three point swing, yeah. and it's like, we couldn't do anything about it. Yeah, you guys got diced a bit hard there. But it's not over yet. If you can do four damage and then eight damage, Ultron's dead. And it mm -hmm. doesn't matter about victory points. However, Ultron only needs to kill two of your heroes and a lot of your heroes are close to death. Yeah. So either side can win going into turn four. It's on a knife edge. What are you thinking? So we had to decide what we were gonna do and I think we decided to go for it. Yeah. Just an all in alpha strike. We wouldn't score victory points until the end of the turn. So we had to take him out in these next three activations. The first three heroes had to take Ultron down for us to win the game. So we had a plan. The first thing I did was secure the final objective with vision and then throw some punches at him, right? Big bit. And these did some big damage the first time he used them. I used these before and they were great. Crits don't, don't help. He blocks it completely. Get uh, out of here, Vision. All right. Oh, oh Vision. <laughs> Vision used eight power to do next, I think, one damage. It was bad. Just nothing at all, I think. So after you know, Vision fails to like do that clean blow, it's time. One more of my special cards. Mm. And again, I was looking forward to using this one. Steve Rogers from across the map looks over. He can see Ultron's on his last legs. He holds up the shield. Avengers, assemble! <laughs> Which allowed any character to spend an energy to get a free little move, yeah. which is what I just needed for the Hulk to then Hulk's jump. Too far away. He's too slow, but he, with his gamma leap, with that extra bit of movement, he manages to just get in range. Oh, He wallops Ultron with an attack. He does a bit of damage, but he also gets uh, his wild bonus and throws him into the building, <laughs> causing enough damage to take out that last Ultron body, spawning the final Ultron. If he appears in between Vision and Cap, 
If you don't kill him... He's going to kill those two. He's going to AoE everyone. Ben deliberately respawned Ultron in a place where he could get multiple attacks off to, exactly. to kill our guys, yeah. rather than moving him back in a safe position, right? So I had to drop the laser. Hello, Mr. <laughs> Stark. Satellite is charged and ready. <laughs> yeah. Everyone is contributing to this. You know, Thor's putting some lightning bolts into their <laughs> oh, cannon to make it yeah. even stronger. Using their powers together. Powered by your powers combined. <laughs> so now every any character can give power to this. Okay. Every power Six, you put into it is seven, another dice that eight, it will roll. Nine, oh, ten, oh, it oh, took ten. every ounce of energy from my side and your side. None of our characters had any power we left. We decided to go all in all on this. this. If this doesn't work, you guys are toasting. You've got We've no defensive abilities left. You've this, got no like reactions or anything. This is the Hail Mary moment. So Ben had to be 23 dice. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's two dice basic, plus Lewis is 11, My and 10. Mark's 10. It's a big 23 dice attack. I'm honestly impressed you had that many dice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. Because <laughs> I didn't think I did. I thought we'd have to do it in two batches. Two, two batches, yeah. <laughs> you ready? Oh no, that's a oh, lot. That's so Lewis. many blanks. That's so many blanks. Okay, so many no, shields. At you first glance, there were so many misses. My god, you had to do eight damage, and you only rolled out of the 23 dice, you rolled like 10 hits? 10 damage, yeah. Not much, it's well below average. Yeah. Oh my um, God. So we knew with Ben's rolls, he if he saved three or more, mm -hmm. that was it, Ultron was on one HP, he survived the orbital laser, which took every ounce of power yeah. that we had and left. And it was his go to activate, fully charged. Yeah, this was gonna be bad. So, so it got came my down to Four dice roll. save. If I could just kill Captain America, <laughs> please. <laughs> It's a crit and a shield, and two fails, so I've made two saves. But he's got a crit, but so he crit rolls one more. Let's me roll one more. Oh. And if I can get this, he's alive from <laughs> one health. <laughs> oh, yes! Oh. Yes! Oh. oh, so close! <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Ultron is just exactly lethaled by the orbital space laser. <laughs> Oh, it was so relieving. Yeah, my god. If, it, if you hadn't taken him out, if it had one hit point left, I think he would have easily killed all three of those characters in yeah. his return attack. But New York is saved. The day yeah. is saved. The yeah. mightiest the good guys heroes. win. We won. We'll ignore those handful of civilians who didn't make it. Well, because uh, the city no. is saved. Yeah, the city Hooray. is saved. Look, you know, you Half can't the save city's everyone. been leveled. <laughs> yeah, it came down to the wire. If we didn't mm. have exactly that amount of energy, like, one less point of energy and Maybe Ultron would have saved. Yeah, it was. It really Oof. came down to everything on the wire, which I can't think of a better way for a game like this to work. When I rolled up, when I had those 23 dice, I thought, there's no way. How could I mess this we, up? We, exactly. <laughs> and then as soon as I rolled them, I was like, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> just saw all those blanks. I was like, my heart just dropped. Oh. I'm glad we got him because, you know, we can't let the bad guys win. No. It's well played, fun. guys. Good game. Well played. Good game. Thank you so much for having me. It's been an absolute blast. Thank you, Mark. It's yeah, been, of course. It's been great. Thank yeah. you, Ben, for hosting this. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, thank you, you both. Tell us what to do and teaching us. Yeah. yeah. Most yeah. importantly, thank you to the members. Thank you, members. We couldn't be doing this without the support of the members. So thank you so much. We couldn't do this without you. And if you want to support us as well, you can become a member by clicking the link below. And as a special thank you to the members, we release a special members only cut, which is a two to three hour extended full game with all the dice rolls and tactics and strategy and discussion, which the YouTube algorithm thinks no one wants to watch. And then you do it. Please <laughs> check it out. <laughs> all the angry bits, all the frustration. <laughs> Terrible impressions from me. Yeah. <laughs> Loads of that stuff in there. Yeah. All your Russian accents. My Russian, my, my, very, my Mickey Rourke playing Black Widow, <laughs> my Stan Lee, my James Speed. Uh, yes, yeah, and a little of bit of what if as well. <laughs> yeah, oh, a little, yeah, bit a little what, what if. if at the end. So yeah. please check that out. Thank yeah. you so much. And last but not least, a special thank you to Chris, who has lent us his amazing set. All the scenery and models painted by him, and I think he's so done a wonderful good. job. So thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely Shout out to gorgeous. Chris. We'll see you next time. All right, we'll see you next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.